Brought to you by wikivd.com. Ryan Zimmerman Ryan Wallace Zimmerman is an American professional baseball first baseman for the Washington Nationals of Major League Baseball. Zimmerman played college baseball at the University of Virginia and graduated from Kellam High School. He has been a member of the Nationals since his debut on September 1, 2005. He was well known for his clutch hitting and walk-off hits. Formerly a third baseman, Zimmerman transitioned to first base in 2015. College career A three-year starting shortstop for the Virginia Cavaliers in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Zimmerman started in all 174 games he appeared in, and his collegiate career statistics include 250 hits, 140 RBIs, 128 runs, 47 doubles, 7 triples, and 9 home runs. He was successful on 32 of 39 stolen base attempts. His career totals are among the top 10 in Virginia statistical categories for doubles, hits, and RBI. Zimmerman established the school record of hits in a season with 90 in 2004, breaking his own record with 92 in 2005. In his final collegiate season, Zimmerman led the Cavaliers with a .393 average, .581 slugging percentage, 136 total bases, 92 hits, 59 RBIs and 51 runs. He coupled his high batting average with striking out just 14 times in the full season. Through August 2011, he was one of 29 former UVA players to have made it to the major leagues along with among others former Cavaliers Michael Schwimmer, Javier Lopez and Mark Reynolds. Zimmerman's collegiate awards and honors include 2005 All-American by Baseball America, 2005 All-American by National Collegiate Baseball Writers Association, 2005 All-ACC Selection, 2005 ACC All-Tournament Team and 2005 Virginia College Sports Information Director's Player of the Year. He was also a 2004 First Team All-ACC Selection, 2004 Vassar All-State Team Selection and named to the 2004 Charlottesville NCAA Regional All-Tournament Team. Zimmerman played alongside current Colorado Rockies first baseman Mark Reynolds. USA Olympic Baseball Zimmerman started at third base for the 2004 USA Baseball national team that won the gold medal in the FISU Second World University Baseball Championship. Zimmerman's summer with Team USA included starting 18 of 24 games and leading the team in batting average hits RBI runs doubles home runs slugging percentage and total bases. He also posted a .933 fielding percentage and won the team triple crown. In his sophomore year in college he batted over .400 in the ninth inning with two runners on base. Zimmerman's .468 batting average set a national team single-season record and was a factor in his earning the World University Championship Tournament MVP. He won the USA Baseball Richard W. Dick Case Player of the Year Award in 2004. Zimmerman also played on the same AAU team as B.J. Upton and David Wright. 2005 season Zimmerman was drafted in the first round as the fourth overall pick by the Washington Nationals in the 2005 Major League Baseball draft. After being signed on the day he was drafted he was sent to the Savannah Sand Nats, the Nationals minor league A-level affiliate and then quickly moved up to the Harrisburg Senators, the AA affiliate. Zimmerman was called up to the majors when rosters expanded in September 2005 and shared third base duties with Vinnie Castilla taking over the position on a more permanent basis between the time the Nationals were mathematically 
eliminated from playoff contention and the end of the season. In his first major league at bat, at RFK Stadium he muscled a double to right center. Over the course of 20 games, he posted a .397 batting average 10 doubles and 6 RBIs in 58 at-bats. He was the only member of the 2005 team to hit over .300 in at least 50 at-bats. 2006 season He remained with a major league club to start the 2006 campaign taking over third base duties from Castilla who was traded to the San Diego Padres. Prior to 2006 spring training, Zimmerman changed his jersey number from 5 to 1 his former college number. On April 5, 2006, he hit his first major league home run off a 93 miles per hour fastball in the ninth inning against Mets. Closer Billy Wagner, it sailed into the second deck in Shea Stadium tied the game in the top of the ninth inning and allowed the Nationals to go on to win their first game of the 2006 season by a score of 9-5 in extra innings. On June 18, 2006, Father's Day with his father in the stands Zimmerman hit his 10th Major League home run and his first walk-off home run when he hit a two-run shot in the bottom of the ninth inning to beat the New York Yankees 3-2. The usually stoic Zimmerman gleefully tossed his batting helmet in the air while rounding third, and leaped onto home plate as his teammates crowded around him. He later took a curtain call, and tossed his batting gloves into the stands. On July 4, 2006, he hit a three-run home run against Florida closer Joe Borowski on a two-strike pitch. With two outs in the ninth inning of a game Washington was losing 4-3. The walk-off home run carried Washington to a 6-4 victory. This was Zimmerman's 12th career home run and his second walk-off. Two days later he delivered a walk-off single against the Marlins to win the game 8-7 in the 11th inning. On September 27, 2006 against the Philadelphia Phillies, Zimmerman hit his 20th home run of the season and tied the Expos, Nationals franchise record for home runs by a rookie. In 2002 Brad Wilkerson hit 20 home runs for the Montreal Expos. During his first season as the Nationals' third baseman Zimmerman became a hometown hero and a fan favorite through his defense and ability to come through in late-inning situations. Frank Robinson once compared Zimmerman's defense to that of Brooks Robinson, a former teammate of Frank Robinson's. During the 2006 spring training, Frank Robinson said that he thought 12 homers and 60 RBIs would be a realistic goal. For his rookie infielder, Zimmerman exceeded those expectations and finished with 20 home runs and 110 RBIs. Along with those two figures he finished the 2006 season with 156 games played, 612 at-bats, .288 batting average, .352 OBP, 84 runs scored, 176 hits, 47 doubles, 3 triples, and 11 steals. He led all major leaguers with 10 or more bunts in bunt hit percentage at 83.3% with 10 bunt hits. Although he was named on more ballots, Zimmerman finished second in the 2006 NI Rookie of the Year voting to Florida Marlins shortstop Hanley Ramirez in the closest Rookie of the Year vote ever. 2007 season On a game that began on May 12, 2007 but ended at 1.42 a.m. the next day, Zimmerman hit a two-out bottom of the ninth Grand Slam to rally the Nationals past the Florida Marlins 7-3. On June 22, 2007, Zimmerman fielded a routine ground ball that ended up in his jersey as he bent over to underhand the ball at his stomach level his jersey top opened and hung down in front of his glove causing the ball 
to go into his jersey instead of his positioned glove. On July 4, 2007, Zimmerman hit a two-out go-ahead home run in the first inning against the Chicago Cubs. The one-run home run would have been considered routine had it not continued a trend that led to Zimmerman being declared a human fireworks show by an ESPN.com article. The Independence Day home run marked Zimmerman's fifth game ending, or go-ahead home run on a holiday. Zimmerman hit home runs on Father's Day in 2006 and 2007. Independence Day in 2006 and 2007 and Mother's Day in 2007. Per ESPN.com Zimmerman was quoted as saying, I wish every day was a holiday. On August 3, 2007, Zimmerman delivered his sixth walk-off game winner in his first two seasons with a single to left, giving the Nationals a 3-2 win over the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. With another walk-off in September, Zimmerman produced seven walk-offs with three via home run three via singles and one via bases loaded walk in less than two seasons. Manager Manny Actor stated he has done some dramatic stuff. Since HES been up here, he doesn't get rattled when that situation comes up. And I think that's what he has shown here the last two years. Subsequent to the game, Zimmerman was presented the 2006 Larry Doby Legacy Award for his achievements. During his rookie season, on August 4, 2007 Zimmerman had his first career multi-homer day, hitting a solo shot in the fourth and a two-run homer in the sixth in a 12-1 victory over the street. Lewis Cardinals 2008 season On March 30, the Washington Nationals played the Atlanta Braves in the first regular season Major League baseball game in the new Nationals Park. In that game with two outs in the bottom of the ninth, Zimmerman hit a walk-off home run off of the Braves' Peter Moylan giving the Nationals a 3-2 win. It was the first home run hit by a Nationals player in the history of their new ballpark. Zimmerman was placed on the disabled list on June 3, 2008, with a small labral tear in his left shoulder. He rejoined the team July 22, 2008, after a short minor league assignment. On February 20, 2009 Zimmerman agreed to a $3.325 million one-year deal for 2009 avoiding arbitration. 2009 season on April 20, 2009 Zimmerman signed a five-year $45 million contract with the Nationals through the 2013 season replacing the one-year $3.325 million contract he had agreed to in February in order to avoid arbitration. He hit safely in 30 consecutive games the longest such streak by any player since 2006. That streak was broken May 13 against the Giants going 0 for 3. With two walks in five plate appearances, he hit into a fielder's choice in his last at bat. His streak of reaching base in 43 consecutive games ended on May 26. On July 5, 2009, he was selected to his first All Star game. On September 6, 2009, he hit a walk-off two-run homer against the Florida Marlins to give the Nationals a 5-4 win. On November 11, 2009, he won a Gold Glove Award as the best defensive third baseman in the National League. And on November 12, 2009 he won a Silver Slugger Award as the best defensive third baseman in the league. Zimmerman also won a Fielding Bible Award as Major League Baseball's Best Fielding Third Baseman. He also won the ESPN Web Gem Award which is given to the player with the most top 10 plays on SportsCenter. He was the first player given the award, and as of this year the only player. 2011 season Zimmerman started off the season hot batting .357 through April 9, 
On that day Zimmerman was injured and on April 11 was placed on the 15-day DL with an abdominal strain. It wasn't until June 14 that the Nationals' star third baseman came back to play against the Cardinals. As of July 9, Zimmerman was hitting .252 with four homers and 15 RBIs, with 15 runs scored and one stolen base. On August 19, 2011, Zimmerman hit a walk-off Grand Slam to give the Nationals an 8-4 victory over the Philadelphia Phillies. 2012 season On February 26, 2012 Zimmerman signed a six-year $100 million extension that runs through 2019 and includes a $24 million club option for 2020. His extension also includes a full no-trade clause effective 2014. Zimmerman had previously set a deadline of the day before to sign an extension. Zimmerman will earn $12 million in 2012, $84 million from 2013 to 2018 at $14 million annually, $18 million in 2019 in either $18 million if the Nationals pick up his option or $2 million if they buy him out. After he retires he will earn $10 million more, over the course of five years while working for the club, if the Nationals trade him before his no-trade clause takes effect. He will earn an additional $8 million. Zimmerman could make as little as $126 million, or as much as $150 million. On April 27, the Nationals placed Zimmerman on the 15-day disabled list with shoulder inflammation retroactive. To April 21, he returned May 6. Zimmerman struggled early in the 2012 season due to shoulder pain, hitting only .218 with three home runs in his first 55 games. He received a cortisone injection on June 24 to mitigate the pain. With apparent results, in his next 25 games he hit .392 with 11 home runs and 28 RBI. He brought his ops up from .590 to .801. For his much-improved performance by mid-July, Zimmerman was awarded the NI Player of the Week. 2013 season Zimmerman underwent arthroscopic surgery on his right shoulder in the off-season to repair the scar tissue that had bothered him in 2012. He spent much of the winter rehabilitating it to get ready for the season. Although his doctors estimate he may not regain full strength in it until June. On May 29, Zimmerman had first three home run game as the Nationals lost to the Orioles 9-6. On July 26, 2013, Zimmerman hit his ninth career walk-off home run against the Mets. He completed the season batting .275 with 26 home runs, 79 runs batted in and 6 stolen bases. Over a total of 147 games played. 2014 season after returning from an injury and with Anthony Rendon playing well at third base, Zimmerman played left field for the Nationals. On June 24, three weeks after returning, Zimmerman hit a two-RBI home run in the 16th inning against the Milwaukee Brewers. Zimmerman, playing left field caught the final out to what is at the time the longest game by innings in Nationals history. After the season, the Nationals declined the option of first baseman Adam LaRoche, indicating Zimmerman would permanently move to first base in 2015 due to his many shoulder injuries. 2015 season On May 19, 2015 Zimmerman hit his 10th career walk-off home run, ranking him third all-time in National League walk-off home runs. On September 4, Zimmerman hit two home runs in a game against the St. Louis Cardinals, the second of which was his 200th career home run. 2016 season 
On May 15, 2016, Zimmerman hit his first career inside the park home run. Outfielders Marcelo Zuna and Giancarlo Stanton violently collided into each other, going after the ball that was hit to the right center field warning track and both fell to the ground on the outfield warning track. 2017 season Zimmerman enjoyed a major offensive return to form during the 2017 Washington Nationals season, and he was voted onto the National League All-Star roster as the starting first baseman. His first selection to the All-Star game since 2009. On April 29, Zimmerman hit a 470-foot homer, marking the longest ever hit at Nationals Park. On July 17, Zimmerman hit his 235th career home run, setting a new Nationals Expos franchise record. On July 27, Zimmerman hit the fourth consecutive home run by Nationals hitters off Milwaukee Brewers starter Michael Blazik. The first time the feat had been accomplished in Major League Baseball since the 2011 season. On August 9, Zimmerman set the Nationals franchise record for most runs batted in, earning his 906th RBI on a solo home run against the Miami Marlins. He finished the night by going 4 for 4 with two home runs and five RBIs. Personal life Zimmerman's mother Cheryl was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1995 and has needed to use a wheelchair since 2000, Zimmerman has cited his mother's condition as a substantial formative influence on his development, saying that it forced him to grow up and assume responsibilities at an earlier age than most children. He also founded the Zims Foundation which is dedicated to treating and curing multiple sclerosis. Zimmerman became engaged to Heather Down N, a tech firm sales representative in April 2012 and they married in January 2013. Al Jazeera Controversy On January 5, 2016 it was announced that Zimmerman had filed a lawsuit suing Al Jazeera for defamation following the publication's release of the documentary. The Dark Side, Secrets of the Sports Dopers which linked Zimmerman and Philadelphia Phillies first baseman Ryan Howard among others, to a clinic that allegedly distributed steroids and HGH. Howard also filed suit against Al Jazeera, for defamation. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?